Hello, this is the part two of the um, countertop build series. Uh, but yeah, comment below what you think about it so far and leave a like button and thumbs up. Well, that's the same thing. <laughs> and oh yeah, give, subscribe if you want to follow this build channel and then see how we build that um, van so far. Um, I don't want to give away too much. That's what I'm trying to hide in this corner. So the more I release the videos, the more you see. Okay. Hey, it's really miserable. See how windy it is and it's raining. So yeah. Oh, the van. So my plan today is to I'll close it up. Is to because I checked this with Emma, make sure the height of this was good. So we decided to reduce this by this height here by six centimeter. So everything will go down by six centimeter. So I can bring this down a bit. It's currently one meter high from here all the way to here. It's one meter high. Then you have 2.7 centimeter countertop. So by reducing by six centimeter, it will be this high. So yeah. That's the plan today. I'm just gonna go buy some fittings for this, make sure it doesn't hit the tank. Okay, right, bye. I got some pipes, some three meter long pipe, got some elbows, and this is the one that came with the sink. So I have to get it, I also have got this um, non return valve. I think it's called something HEP for valve. It helps stop. So, water goes in there and it doesn't go back from there. So, I've got two of these one for the sink and one for the shower. They don't tell you this, but I have to get lots of fixtures for it. So, yeah, everything here cost me over about £75. Yeah. They don't tell you that you need to get more fixtures and it took us to a lot of money. I need an elbow bracket and I needed this, but I had to get the whole thing just to get that. Yeah, just one piece I needed by the whole thing because they don't make these on its own. So yeah, I'm just gonna fill it up now and see the difference in height it gets under here. Then I can cut this down to that height. Okay. So after that, what I've done after that was cut this down to size by 40 mil by yeah 4 cm because that's how much depth I had left after doing the plumbing because that was important and yeah so I had to cut every single part so all these I had to cut down so I got a few of these there so I have to take off every single one and cut it down to size now it's 40 cent, 40, 40 cent lower and I decided to start tackling the wall so I've put in this for now and tomorrow I'll start again putting more Spent on the back, I'm just gonna measure it up and then cut it to size. Okay, that's my job done. So, what I've done is I've installed aluminum composite on here so it's solid, you can mount anything on here up to I think. 25 kg or so so yeah so that looks good so next I'm just gonna um, try and finish up the wiring and then once the parts are I need to arrive then I'll just slide it up and then keep going with this all the way down okay um, yeah 
that's like one job done. What has to go? Okay. So today I spent some time installing the. So I installed this yesterday. Aluminum um, um, composite behind there, and today I installed this. So that's see to cover that part. And then I finish up the top cabinets. Yep, so it looks good. I also finished off this wall. And then I installed this aluminum composite behind there. So that way it gives me solid place and mount, so I can mount things on there. And also here, I'm gonna put one here. What I've done now, I'm about to install the water tank. I've drilled holes down on the floor so that holds it so it's really really solid and also I've installed it to the van over there and on the bottom Putting the original walks up, the one I cut out, and it's, it was a bit too long here, so I cut that down so it's a bit more flusher. But I'll um, have to cut it again on a different plywood, make sure it gets better. And also, this is a bit big, so I'm gonna cut that at the new plywood but smaller. And yeah, so the tank is now installed and it's not going anywhere. I've got the sensors set up. Just need to do the gas next week install the gas and then for the cooker also install this i've put it in flush now so it's mounted flush to the body so i install the gas and then i'll put the strip of wood here to secure it down to the body okay bye okay so i cut the first hole unfortunately the camera was recording at the wrong angle and got the suspension instead so i'm gonna record again on with this so i've got two more holes to cut out now okay so now i've got a smaller drill bit so and what i'll do now is drill another hole So all the holes are now cut and you can see the layers of my insulation. So I've got the vinyl, the um, reflective, the plywood, the insulation, 25 minute insulation and the van metal body. Okay, so this is how it looks like in order of steps. So, vinyl and reflective, plywood, insulation, and then metal body. Okay, diesel heater has been installed. Testing it out, it's great. I've just put my other gloves in the wash, and I wore this very good face mask and eye protection. I'm gonna show you why I had to wear this. So I went out and bought some exhaust wrap which i just sealed up back on again because that stuff is based from fiberglass and it got everywhere on me i had to change because it was cut everywhere so i had it wrapped underneath so if you're working with this stuff do not use it with bare hands use gloves and good breeding and good breeding ppe and also glasses because those stuff will get in your lungs and it's very very fine so yeah, so I'll just run the pipe down. So make sure it doesn't touch anything on the van. I'll run the air cooler, air intake also. So yeah, it looks great. 
so the workshop is arriving now see workshop express that's the workshop and the table two two work. morning so that, that's the workshop there the one on top That's like your little laptop. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that looks great. Okay, so the laptop is now lying flat. So this one is a table for our bench. And then this one is the kitchen counter. This is 1.9 meters. This is 203 centimeter that's two meter and three centimeter and cut the oil so it looks great And it fits perfectly well. Everything looks good. This cut out from here. I'm gonna use it as a butcher block and also for that test, test piece to be able to route at the round it off the edges. Yeah, so it's looking great. And also that piece there is from the sink. I might use that as a table or something here, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, it looks great. What do you think? Looks good, huh? okay hey guys so today i spent doing electrical i've installed drinking tap drew the hole on it so it to be there and also installed this 13 amp fuse for this and also the sockets just have to find something like a trim to be able to cover my mistakes up <laughs> me. oh. I got some here helping me do the router <laughs> we're gonna try and do it okay okay so thanks Sam he's managed to round it up really nice compared to what I did last yesterday he's done a very good job so now we're moving on to the counter and then we do the table. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. Thank you very much, Sam. Now just the drawers to do in the kitchen area, and also to put build a center. What is it called? A shelf there. There's some wires. If you see that, the wire for the lighting. So I don't want anything touching it. So I'm gonna build a top shelf with wood, and then that way it won't be touching the wire at all for the lighting, and also. For the kitchen i'm waiting for a part to arrive so i can round off this edge and also um do the plumbing and everything i don't have i mean it's a problem when i measure this out i measured out up to the bedding two meter long bedding i started this build from here then i forgot that i need to add the width of this aluminium so now if i were to put the Murphy bed down it will stop to start from here which is the same as that so that's not really great so what i'm gonna do make space for the plywood what i will do actually is when the bed is up pull it down see where this touches the counter and then i'll just cut that off and then make it a bit smaller so that way it still gives two meters there and then that way be less two meters less but at least you can still open up all the way that's what i'm doing now and then yeah let me finish up the install it's looking nice slowly getting there thank you very much sam 
thanks Sam for helping me do the colors. See how they look? They look really nice. Thanks Sam. Really appreciate it. Yeah. So guys, if you want anyone, if you want your woodwork being done or want anything with wood, um, Sam is a carpenter and he's a genius with the router and woodwork tools. Let me know, I can message him, I can get in contact and he'll do anything for you that involves wood. Thank you, Sam. Testing out the sink and not in the van, just testing it out outside. So yeah, I had some water spill before, so I just want to make sure I give it a wipe with a cut and then see if there's any leak anywhere. Make sure there's no leak. Yeah, let's let it run for a bit and then we'll come back and see if there's any water droplet on the pipe okay which is good so now i'm just gonna test out here to see if there's any leak that comes out from there so i'll go like this and then see if there's any leak comes out there yeah looks fine i don't see any leak so that's good so i guess the water test is a success no leaks. Okay. Try it again later on. Hey guys, still so trying out the water. I put some water on the fresh water. Because the van is an angle, it's actually more here. And I've got a pump running, square quiet. Let's check this out. I've got a drink and water. Yeah. Oh yeah, I had a leak somewhere, I think I fixed it. Oh, that's a leak. Let's see if there's any more leaks there. But yeah, so far it's going well. Clean up the water from the worktop. So yeah, see how that goes.